Hi, everyone, and welcome back to Micro Investor, where we do technical analysis and price predictions on many different cryptocurrencies every single day. Now, in this video, we are going to be talking about Polygon Matic. So Polygon has been one of the cryptocurrencies that has been in the green over these last few days. There haven't really been many cryptocurrencies that have been pumping. Now, one thing that has just recently happened was that Polygon had broken out of this falling wedge pattern that it was in since the middle of August. So uh, the, the price now is working its way up into this next Fibonacci level, which is at a price of around 90 cents is a very key price for it to break through. And this will all be part of it going back and then retracing where it was within this wave five that was all part of this uh, this original first wave that had started from the 52 week low of Polygon when the price was a little bit under 32 cents. That was in the middle of June and then it went up within this first wave within five individual waves to uh, reach a price of around $1.06 in the middle of August. Then it came down within its wave two, that was a three wave move or an ABC correction. And then now it's within hopefully its third wave, which is the breakout wave from the trend. And that's going to take us through our top Fibonacci level and hopefully much higher than that. Now, a couple very key important things about Polygon at the moment is that we are currently above our 100 day moving average at this moment. As you can see the consolidation within our moving averages. And now we're working our way up to that 200 day moving average. So this is actually a really big deal right now with Polygon. And if it's able to pass that 200 day moving average, uh, which is currently going to be at a price of around 92 cents. So that's a very key price for Polygon to break through, which I expect there might be a little bit of resistance trying to do so but that would be very key for some more uh, larger price movements within it. And also another very important thing that's currently going on is our bull market support band, which we're actually above at this moment. We had been trading within the bull market support band, and now we are currently just a little bit above it at this moment. So we're gonna see some resistance most likely at this 200 day movement average, but if we're lucky, we'll manage to pump through that. And then thanks with Polygon, might go as well as things are going with other cryptocurrencies like XRP and Quant, which are uh, well above the bear market support band right now. I mean, the bull market support band right now, which is also the uh, the bear market resistance band if you're on the other side of it. So uh, that's what's currently going on as far as all that. So as far as things here in the short term, I'm saying that we've completed the second wave so far with what the data is telling us, but we cannot confirm it yet. Um, but with this breakout from the trend line and seeing how the, the price of Polygon did not fall lower than where it was in the third week of September, when the CPI data had come out and then we saw this quick rise within the price, seeing that rise within that price, that's just some reassurance that the, um, that we did complete that wave two, and then we are now moving within that wave three. So seeing how this wave three is currently in the works here, we're currently correcting within it. So, we'll, so we have, at this moment, we have our wave A, our wave B on the CPI day to date. And then this is that wave C, which will be our, our more breakout wave, hopefully. And this will take it up, hopefully up to that Fibonacci level where we might possibly be seeing it have that break out there at a price above $1.06. So as far as what I'm really monitoring is this 90 cent price on this Fibonacci level. I'm expecting if it pumps through this, we're gonna see a larger candlestick, take us right up to this, this 200 day moving average at the 90, at around 93 cents to be able to pump through that. And then if those two things are accomplished and this wave C has a really good shot of seeing it go right up into that, that uh, top Fibonacci level, retracing where we were at, within the wave one and hopefully breaking through it. So that's the update for now with Polygon. I'll keep you guys updated, probably a follow-up video here within a couple days or a few days, uh, depending on how much price movements we do get. And of course, I talk about plenty of other cryptocurrencies. So now I'm just going to go ahead and jump on the next one to talk about. So I'll just see you there. Thank you for watching and listening.